Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number 6, and we're going up against an alliance called God's Marvelous Heroes. I do like your name. Uh, so in any case, I've already gone in, I've looked over the defenders along my path, and I've chosen to go in with this team here. And you'll see why I chose to uh, bring in my Corvus. Now, you may notice that this Corvus is my five-star Awakened Corvus. He is normally in a queue, but a queue is down right now. So, I'm free to bring him in. Uh, I like him better than the six-star rank three Unawakened uh, for right now, anyway. All right, so you can see why I brought in Corvus. My first fight is going to be against Iceman. Uh, they didn't put a defender on the first node on my path, but we're going to have to fight this Iceman. Well, uh, Corvus is uh, Cold Snap immune, and this will give him a mutant charge. And also, as you saw right there, he is able to parry him even though he might have his ice armor up. And he tried to hit me with that special one, but Corvus ain't trying to have that. Nope, not trying to hear it. All right, see, there he goes again, trying to hit me with a special one. And then boom, now I kind of miscalculated that a little bit. Um, if I had waited a little bit, the uh, special two would have taken him out. I didn't have any missions yet, so it didn't hit as hard, but I am running suicide. So that meant that that special, since it didn't take him out, uh, cost me some uh, health in the form of the recoil damage. Uh, so I usually try to end it with the special rather than uh, what you saw there. But in any case, not too bad. Uh, we didn't lose that much health uh, in that fight. So as you saw, the mini was cleared. So now we're down here in the middle and I'm looking over the nodes, I'm looking at Thing, I'm looking at my Nick Fury, and I'm like, yes, we can do this. All right, so I have taken out Thing on the boss node with Nick Fury. So I know how to fight Thing, all right? Now, this node surprised me and something else happened that I was not expecting, but you'll see it. In any case, the fight is going just fine here. You'll notice his rock charges keep going down. That is because anytime he takes damage that he's immune to, it reduces his rock charges. And as you know, Nick Fury, he puts on those bleeds, all right? So it's very easy to manage his rock charges, all right? Uh, he's also a stubborn defender, but Nick Fury is also a stubborn uh, character, so he benefits from the attacker tactic that they uh, recently changed, all right? So it made fighting Thing with Nick Fury so much easier. You'll see uh, the six uh, destructible, I believe they're called, charges on him. That means when he would go indestructible because he's a stubborn defender when I evade, uh, he's not. It's going to reduce that. Now, this is what caught me. This is where it all started to go wrong. So I'm looking at this. I'm like, oh, I forgot about the backup recovery. I'm like, but no problem. Nick Fury, his life model decoy is is good so now we just have the real nick fury so we can still do this right and boom i'm like wait wait what, what's happening why why is he unstoppable why is he unblockable and i'm just in the corner and he just wrecked me and i'm still sitting there the first time he hit me i'm like what and i want to get out of the corner but you know thing when he gets on you like that and you're in the corner that's what you really want to avoid and he was unblockable for what seemed like an eternity i sat here trying to figure out what just happened okay i was pissed all right now i know what happened uh but if you think that i was gonna sit here and let that happen you're crazy that ain't me you can be sure and this has happened to me in the past i remember being in an alliance and we came up against this um, Alliance Wars, uh, Alliance War uh, Defender. Um, I think it was just Iron Man uh, or Juggernaut. I forget which one. At the time, 
they were tough on those no's. And I remember uh, the Alliance leader was like, yeah, we're just not going to be able to do this. I got raged and went back in and I didn't care about items. And that was kind of what I was in right now because he was going down no matter what. I don't care if I had to keep reviving and healing. Uh, if I had to use units, he was going down. Uh, but sometimes I get like that, a little battle fury, all right? Um, but as you can see, this is why I wasn't worried when I took that special three. Because even with the real Nick Fury up, I was fairly certain I'd be able to take him down even though he had, you know, about half his ho uh, health left. All right, Nick Fury, he is a beast when the real Nick Fury is out. All right, so here we go. I'm trying not to parry too much, but that's how you get rid of the indestructible unless you have the destructible charges built up and you build those up by parrying. But since I had only a little bit of health, I'm trying not to do that. It's very difficult when you have to evade those specials, um, but I'm doing my best. We got 7% left and I'm just trying to get him down uh, near and then hit him with this special three. That's all I want to do, okay? And here we go. I'm like, okay, one more parry to get that indestructible. Do a couple of hits in here. And now, let's hope. Let's see if that special three is going to take him out. And boom, it does. So, I died, but I got my revenge. And let me tell you, it felt good. Mighty good. All right, but... You know, like I said, I, I messed up. I forgot about that backup recovery. He got his special three, and that's what started it. So here's what I learned after that, because, of course, I was sitting there like, how? How was he indestructible? I mean, uh, unblockable. That's one of his abilities. When special, um, when uh, Thing fires off a special three, he's unblockable for eight seconds. And so I was not familiar with that about thing so that caught me by surprise all right but i recovered lesson learned um it wasn't too terrible you know one death i don't like dying but uh we got him down all right and i'll be ready the next time i have to fight that and i have my uh nick fury i'll know what i need to do all right, so now we're in section two and we're going to fight this Mysterio. Now, Corvus is great to fight Mysterio and it's going to give him another charge, that tech charge. All right, so uh, once the parry actually works, there we go. Armor break, which shuts him down a little bit. All right, and as you can see here, I'm just going in. Now, the nodes will suppress my power, all right? But I don't care because I have a charge, as you see, and I'm hitting very, very hard. So it don't matter. He's blocking. Don't matter. Just took him down. Don't need any specials. Nothing. I do miss using Corvus in Alliance War. All right. Now, we are going up here against Captain Marvel. Now, keep in mind, I just took down Thing. I'm still angry over that okay but in that case i had nobody to blame but myself i was just mad at myself okay uh just just to be clear there was no dropped inputs there that was just bad strategy and ignorance okay uh because if i had known he was unblockable i would have at least tried to attack or you know push him away uh play around that eight seconds until i could try to get uh back into the fight you know uh, but here we go, fighting a Captain Marvel movie. Nothing really uh, special about this one. Just raw damage, take her down. I had two charges, uh, and so we just took her down. All right, so uh, next up is this Iron Man Infinity War, who will also give... Um, a Avenger uh, mission, okay? But as you can see, he wasn't free there. 
But now, now he is. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. Now I have a very good record against Iron Man Infinity War when using Corvus or Hyperion for that matter. Uh, now this node may cause a little bit of, um, uh, maybe make me play a little bit differently, but I was not planning to do much of anything uh, special here. All right, now one of the things that I could have tried to do would be to um, do a, a advanced power boost, you know, so I could start with one bar of power, get to the special two quickly, you know, maybe use power boosts so that I could, you know, possibly do some back to back. Um, but I decided not to do that. Now this almost messed me up here. Uh, I was a little late in the special. Okay. And so I'm like, okay, what am I going to do here? I've got seven charges, you know, and I have missions. I got two missions. So I'm hitting really hard. All right. And I'm like, okay, I'm looking at his health. I'm looking at my ones. I'm like, okay, I got it. Um, I hit him with a heavy, don't ask why. Um, and then I'm like, okay, boom. And we got him down. All right. So didn't have too much of a difficulty there. It would have been different if I had um, not that many charges. Then I might have tried to boost up a little bit differently. All right. So that is all I did for this war. You don't see it there, but... Um, they pretty much cleared uh, the rest of that. All right, so before we find out how we did in this war, I wanted to show you this fight that Tree Fitty sent to me during Alliance War 4. I'm so sorry, Tree Fitty. Uh, I got backed up in my Alliance War videos, and I didn't remember the video until after I had already published War 4, and I really could have used it for War 4 because it was a short war for me, and I had already uh, recorded War 5. So here you have the fight. All right, so what you're going to be seeing here is Cable as a horseman. You see that he has Apocalypse there, and he made Cable a horseman. So uh, let's see how Cable performs as a horseman against Thing, stubborn defender. All right, so he parries him. And he is hitting him with these heavies. Parry, heavy. But look at the damage that Cable is doing to Thing here. Look at this. His health is melting away. I am impressed. This is the first time I'm actually seeing Cable fighting as a horseman. And I remember hearing that he was one of the best, if not the best, horsemen. And I'm impressed. Uh, I don't have a Apocalypse yet. And I am trying to get a five-star Apocalypse. Uh, I've saved up my shards. And when he is in the featured five-star pool, I will be opening nothing but featured until I can grab him. Uh, and I have a five-star uh, Cable. And I will probably rank Cable up if I get Apocalypse, we'll see. But this is a very, very impressive display by Cable. Just look at this. I am completely impressed by Horseman of the Apocalypse, Cable. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this guy here. He went from zero to hero, maybe? I don't know. All right, so that's it for this fight, and we'll return after a brief intermission, and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. We got all three of our bosses down. They left up one boss. I don't remember which boss they had a problem with, uh, but we were able to pull out the victory. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.